Hi, my name is Minar Dayam. I'm a junior at Mesa Charter High School. This is a piece I wrote for school that I worked on with my mentor, Jamie Fuller. An open letter to the higher being. Dear God, I have questions for you. I understand that we cannot choose our families, meaning we are unable to choose the ethnic background we were born into. I understand that you meant for life to be difficult. I understand that being of a certain ethnicity or of a certain culture is especially difficult. What I don't understand is that you wanted us to be united. If you want us to live in unity, then why are humans divided into different groups? Is life a puzzle? Do you want us to find unity amongst the chaos and division? I want to know why the pessimists exist. Why does society have a list of expectations? Why do people make assumptions? Why do people care? Unfortunately, I was born into what is, in my opinion, the most judgmental group of all, Arabs. They expect so much. That is the only massive flaw I find amongst them. I understand that they don't mean to be cynical or pessimistic, but they don't see that they still emit the negativity. It's the 21st century and people still ask questions like, when are you getting married? How do you plan on getting married if you don't know how to act like a girl? Start acting girly. I don't know what that means. I believe they want me to act, dress, eat, and drink like most girls. What, do they want me to breathe like most girls too? They say, lose weight, you look manly. You're tall and overweight. Manly and girly have burrowed into my mind as if my epilepsy doesn't take care of that, my mind already. God, are you listening? What if I don't want to get married soon? What if I don't want to lose weight for someone other than me? Oh, right, I'm just an individual with no right to her choice whatsoever. Just the other day, I was walking in my neighborhood when a middle-aged white man with eyes like he's been smoking the day he left the womb approached me. He was just itching to explain the English language to me. He took seven minutes of my life for a simple, single question. He asked me where the bus stop was. He spoke to me as if I spoke no English at all. He spoke to me as if I wasn't born and raised in America for 16 years. I pointed towards the bus stop and said, English is my first language, sir. It was at that point where I realized how ignorant most humans are. I'm still looking for answers. I'm sure young girls and young women of culture are too. I hope the un uninformed are searching for answers. Dear God, please tell me they are. I don't ask you for much. Maybe I should begin. How do I put an end to the expectations, the assumptions? I'm only asking for a friend. All I ask of you is to send me answers. I want people to ask appropriate questions in an appropriate manner. I want to let others live freely. I want people to live life as it was meant to be. Life should never feel like a heavy burden being carried around. <sighs> so um, I'm sure a lot of you guys today heard about what happened in New Zealand. Um, for those who don't, a man entered the mosque and recorded himself doing or committing the mass shooting. He killed every person he saw in or near the mosque. <sighs> Sorry. People need to know that this isn't okay. <sighs> if we don't come together and fight against the never-ending hatred, it'll never stop. Thank you. <laughs>